In this video, we present Sugarlite. It's a programming by demonstration system that allows users to create generalized automation for tasks in arbitrary third-party mobile apps by simply demonstrating the procedure of performing a task. First, we will show you how to create an automation by demonstration. In the next example, we will teach Sugarlite how to order a cup of cappuccino using the Starbucks app. Order a cappuccino. Sorry, but I don't understand. Would you like to teach me? Say yes or just ignore. Yes. Great. When you say, for example, order a cappuccino, what shall I do first? Say demonstrate to demonstrate. Demonstrate. Show me how to order a cappuccino. Once you are done, click on the duck and select end recording. As we saw, Sugarlight has a conversational voice interface where the user can give voice commands. If Sugarlight doesn't know how to perform a task, it will ask the user to demonstrate the procedure. Then, we just need to demonstrate ordering the cappuccino normally. We first click on the Starbucks app icon from the home screen. We receive a confirmation window for every operation we demonstrate. The operation is then added to the script. Then, we just keep demonstrating how to order the cappuccino using the Starbucks app. We click, click on the main menu, go to order, go to menu, choose espresso drinks, choose cappuccino. The next action is actually special. We can see that the cappuccino button has two text labels, cappuccino and 120 calories. Sugarlight can tell which label it should use to identify this button, so it will pop up a disintegration panel where it asks the user to select an identifying feature. Then we'll keep demonstrating, add the cappuccino to our order, go to the order, and we can end recording here. That's the end of the demonstration process. Now we can run the automation we just created using the voice command. Order a cappuccino. Executing. Sugarlight will then just automatically perform the task by invoking the UI of the Starbucks app. If we go to the GUI of Sugarlight, we can see the script we just created. A key feature of Sugarlight is that it can automatically identify the parameters in the task and generalize the scripts from a single demonstration. Let me show you how this works. I will run this script from the GUI instead of the speech interface so you can see the parameters visually. As we can see here, Sugarlight identifies cappuccino to be a parameter in this task. By analyzing the UI structure of the Starbucks app in the background, Sugarlight finds all those other Starbucks drinks that you can order with similar procedures. So if the user demonstrates a task on Sugarlight, Sugarlight can perform not only the same task, but also similar tasks for the user. This addresses a major challenge in programming by demonstration tools. Sugarlight is now ordering a coconut milk mocha macchiato for us automatically. Then we look at the error handling. If Sugarlight encounters an error in running a script, the user can also create a new fork from the original script by demonstration. This would allow Sugarlight to handle errors, abruptions, and new conditions. We just need to demonstrate what to do instead in this new fork. Looking at the script, we can see the error handling fork has been created in the original script. At last, to show the generalizability and customizability of Sugarlight, we will present some example tasks that I have successfully taught Sugarlight to do. Find the route to the highest rated restaurant nearby. 
Friend script, find the route to the highest rated restaurant nearby. Exclamation. Check the weather. Run script, check the weather. Result, today clear 85 degrees, 59 degrees. Check the score of New York Yankees. Run script, check the score of New York Yankees. Result, Yankees are at SOXL 4 final 59 18 Pay off my credit card balance. Run script, pay off my credit card balance. Tell Julia I will be late because my car is broken. Run script, tell Julia I will be late because my car is broken.